Lastly, Madam Deputy Speaker, you have Chatterley Whitfield Colliery. It is one of the most complete former colliery sites in Europe and has been designated a scheduled ancient monument. Mm. It was the first colliery in the country to achieve an annual output of one million tonnes, which was achieved in 1937 and again in 1939. The colliery ceased production and closed its doors on working miners in March 1977. The hard work undertaken by the Friends of Chatley Whitfield has seen some buildings brought back to use to sell out tours on heritage weekends and important documents saved. However, this important piece of heritage is still at risk of being lost. The pot banks would not have fired if it were not for the coal brought from the deep mines of Chatley Whitfield and the potteries would not have existed. I made a central pledge in my campaign to protect and preserve this site with a long-term plan. The loss of such a site means future generations could be denied an invaluable opportunity to learn about their past, and I will not stand by and let this happen. Talking up an area is very important, but it is crucial to acknowledge the challenges we face. We need more school places, better public transport, and to bring more high-skilled and high-wage jobs to Stoke-on-Trent, Kidsgrove and Talk. We must invest in the city by opening up free schools to offer more parental choice. We must reverse some of the beachings cuts by opening up the old mineral line and ensure the city of Stoke-on-Trent becomes the core of the tech revolution. Mm. Silicon Stoke is an ambition to put this city at the centre of future skills and jobs. We are rated as having some of the best 4G download speeds in the country and are leading the way by rolling out 60 miles of full fibre broadband across the city thanks to Swedish firm VX Fibre and this government's investment of over £9 million. This could generate a £625 million boost to the Stoke-on-Trent economy, according to council officers, meaning more jobs and higher wages. Stoke-on-Trent, being one of the great cities of the Industrial Revolution, knows what it means to be at the centre of the country's economy, and I wish to see the city reignited at the heart of the coming technological revolution. One of my roles as a Member of Parliament is to represent the people, the place and the history of Stoke-on-Trent North Kidsgrove and Talk. I will pursue relentlessly the potential and ambition of my constituency and I will shout at every turn about how amazing the city is and the opportunities it possesses. Make no mistake, we're on the up. Alex Norris. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker, and it's a pleasure to follow the Honourable Member for Stoke-on-Trent North and what was an excellent maiden speech joining a series of, of excellent maiden speeches.